just got an update to show you on these 1960s bespoke George Cleverly. I've been restoring, to be truthful, I've been restoring them over a year on and off. But um, there's been quite a lot of films made um, the last couple of weeks, which if, um, if you've already seen them, you'll understand. But perhaps have a look at the old videos over the last two weeks. They were in a sorry state. If I, if I bring this close to the uh, lens, you can see the heavy cracking. Um, this shoe's been, um, it's had a lot of work, it's stretched dramatically and that's been re uh, resized onto the original cleverly fixed tree inside. The tree's obviously not changed shape, that's what size it was in 1969. The leather is stretched and it is stretched across the vamps and it is stretched dramatically here. It's around about 20 millimetres I've um, steamed away and it's brought back the original profile. Um, but that's not what this film's about. I wanted to show you where we're at with, with the other shoe. Um, they're, they're completely different colours. This one's been resurfaced. It's had a few microns of skin taken away um, to, re to re sort of remove this horrible cracked surface. If I, um, if I use my finger now, you'll be able to hear this. Um, it's, 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 it's scratchy and crunchy. It doesn't matter where you go on this shoe. It's very crunchy. The whole surface is crunchy and scratchy. The other one's rather quiet. There's no sort of crunchy, grotty, scratching sounds. Um, I've removed the surface of that skin. This one's yet to be done. Um, it's, it's purely been done with, um, with the abrasive papers, which is in the previous films. Um, I, I really wanted to just show you an update of where we're at. Um, it's, at the process, it's at the stage where I'm going to be re-dyeing this shoe. I'll film that. But before I re-dye it, I just want to be extra fussy. In the, um, in the broguing holes, there's quite a lot of old polish. So I've, I've, I've got little tiny screwdrivers, I've just got a set of engineer screwdrivers here, so I've just very carefully selected the correct size. I don't want to be stretching the holes. And I've already been through these. Um, on this side, if I bring it closer, you probably can't see from the, from the, uh, the distance of the camera, but the little tiny holes, they're, f they're filled with old polish. So I'm just going to use these, um, these screwdrivers just to carefully go into the hole and just, just fish out the old residue of polish to make the, make the holes nice and crisp again. Um, it's an easy enough task, it's a, it's a fiddly task, it, but it's just a minor detail. But I've gone so far with the restoration on these, I don't want to sort of skip a detail that'll only take me 20 minutes. Um, but it, it will make a big, big difference to the outcome. So I'm just, just bringing it a little bit closer. It's just, just a simple, tiny screwdriver. I'm just swizzling it about. So the screwdriver's got a flat head. So um, I'm struggling, obviously, lifting it up to the camera. Normally, I'd, uh, it'd be a bit easier pulled into my body. But just to give you a sense of what I'm doing. So let me put the small one down. And I've got a slightly, a slightly larger uh, head that fits into the into the holes, the bigger holes quite quite nicely. There's a, there's a bit of polish just jumped out. Uh, that's all I'm doing, just fishing out the old residue of polish. So, uh, it'll probably take me 15, 20 minutes to go through every single hole. See these little tiny ones here, they're all blocked up. Just old polish, 50 years of old polish. But, um, that's it really, that's all I wanted to show you today. But um, as I say to you, this, this shoe is ready for re-dyeing and I will, I will re-dye it and moisturise it, polish it. Then I've got the grim task of resurfacing that one. It does take a long time. Um, I've been doing that one for weeks, on and off. Um, maybe do half an hour, get fed up, put it down. You can't just rush away. You, you, it's a very, very, very slow process. You cannot sand over the, over the stitches. You, just, you will lose the stitching. So you can sand right up to the stitching, maybe half a millimetre away from the stitching, but you can't just roughly sand over the whole lot and expect to get away with it. To, to resurface this one, it'll be a minimum of 20 hours. It sounds a fa fantastic amount of time. Indeed it is, but it's a fantastic shoe. Um, made by George Cleverly in the, in the late 60s. It's definitely worth the effort. Uh, it's something I'm not going to rush. I'll do 15, 20 minutes, I'll put it down and I might forget about it for a couple of days. And I will, uh, when, I, when I've got the patience, I'll come back to it and do a bit more. It's not a job I'll try and rush. If I, if I rush it, I'll totally destroy the shoes. But I'm keeping these videos short, so I'm going to stop here. But um, I'll probably uh, get to dyeing this one tomorrow, and I'll show you the dyeing process.